guys, it's Lamborox, trying to once again, and welcome to Off Topic, some episode 43. Um, I'm only thinking, uh, Lambo, where are you? He's finished work. I did see it, but I just want to go for a walk for a bit, guys. It's a lovely weather, so why not go there for a bit? So, anyway, um, thank you guys so much for cheering me up with those GIF videos about me, I can't go see Inside Out 2 in cinemas, which I'm going to wait till it comes out on, on DVD or Disney+. Plus. I really hope they change their mind. Let me let me go, let me let me go see it because, thankfully, um. So anyway, so big shout out to, to um the few YouTubers um who give me uh, some gift videos for to cheer me up and um hopefully RGI on one hundred will make a make a um, cheer up gift video for me because he knows what I like. He knows I love freaking Moy Boss Burgers over that house Future Armor. Castle Guarnies, all those kind of stuff, so, yeah. So, anyway, thankfully my mom understands it's for ages, thank goodness for that. So I have some good news, I have some bad news. The good news, my mom just noticed, realized, it was, it's all, it's for ages, so there's something. And another good news, I'm getting paid on Wednesday next week. That's right, I'm getting paid next week on next Wednesday. The bad news is, despite I'm getting paid from work next Wednesday, they still won't let me go see Inside Out 2 in cinemas. Not with them. I can't go by myself. They won't let me go still, they still won't let me go see it. Honestly, you know what? I'm going to say this, guys. I'm actually going to say this. Get to another location, so... I won't get caught from the people, so yeah. I mean, what the fuck? I still can't go see Inside 2, despite I still get paid for the one next week. I can't go see by myself. I can't go see with anyone. Just, well, guys, I'm going to say this, guys. Fuck this month. That's right. Fuck this month. Fuck this summer so far. This has been the worst summer. Well, not worst summer. I'm actually going to say, this is now officially the second worst summer I've ever had in my life. First being summer 2020. Well, it's not the second worst. I had to think about that. We'll have to see how it goes. I'm actually in my mind, so, yeah. <sighs> so, yeah, thank God um, my mom realized it's all for all ages. So, there's, there's, there's something, guys. There's something. So, anyway, um, I, I don't know what's the worst summer. I had to think about it. It's so far, the summer's been mediocre. I actually felt left out. That many people, many teams I know, have a good summer so far, and I didn't. Because I always want to see it inside too. I've sequel. I've been wanting to see it ever since. I wanted ever since I saw the first movie in cinema. I'm like, yeah, I want to see another one. But nine years later, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. They haven't. Se- so, honestly, guys, um, this ain't the first time they did this. Now, I was originally mentioning this in my four 2019 video. I did five years ago, but it was cut because I, I, was, I still wasn't sure it was the right thing to say. There's actually one time my family told me I, that, that I was about to go see, um, and yes, I did see Toy Story 4 in cinemas. I'm about to get to the topic right now, guys. One time, I was originally mentioning my thoughts in 2019 video, but it got cut because I don't want to. I wasn't too sure what I want to say on, on the video, but I was like, I'll, I'll, I'll say it anyway, guys. So, um, one time, um, I asked my family, I, I want to go see Toy Story 4. And one time, my mum or my dad told me, hold on my, I said 21. And they told me, I'm too old for it. What the fuck? Seriously. What the actual fuck? It's for all ages. And then, well, thankfully they didn't let me go see it at the end. So there's something, guys. So I'll get to it. And, um, and then I, I didn't get Toy Story 4 until... 2020. I didn't get Toy Story 4 on DVD until 2020 because one time one had said, if you get on DVD, I'm going to throw the bin. I was originally going to mention that in my fourth 2019, but it was cut because I don't want to say it. Because I don't really feel like I want to say it. But what the fuck? That put a DVD in the bin to waste some money? So, I, 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 and due to that, guys, I didn't bother get Toy Story 4 on DVD due to that, what they said to me. Cause that just broke my heart. That just shows how much I love. Cause I love Pixar so much. It's a huge part of my childhood. So, so what I did, I waited months later, around May 2020, got Toy Story 4 on DVD. And you know what I did for payback? 
well kind of, well kind of. I put it in my wardrobe and cupboard in case they did something. But thankfully, they didn't know. But another reason is they aren't accepted now, thankfully. So that's a long time ago. But thankfully, I had the Toy Story 4D in my hand back in 2020 during the Medidi update. So honestly, guys, and um, now my family doesn't hate Pixar. They love, they do enjoy Pixar films. They enjoy most of their movies. But it comes to me seeing Pixar movies in cinemas. I mean, I've seen, I've seen a lot of good Pixar. I've seen a lot of Pixar films in cinemas during my lifetime. From Ratatouille, from, from, to Up, to Toy Story 3, to, to Cars 2, to Brave, to Inside Out, to Finding Dory, Cars 3, Crabbles 2, Toy Story 4, Onward, and uh, Lightyear. And those ones I, I saw in cinemas. I didn't see Coco in cinemas, but that's okay, guys. Just what it is. But, but saying to that, and so anyway, guys. So inside two with you is still will be in um, will still be in um, will be um, in in the end of the year. I'll be with you at the end of the year, guys. So, so I have no choice to go see um, Despicable Me four instead of Inside two for alternative. Or I can, or if I see it, I can go seek it to Inside 2 and go see it. So, but I, I'm not gonna do that, guys. I'm not gonna do that, guys. But, but they just don't understand how much I was looking forward to this movie. And also, I told them I, I, I wanted what are the, the, what are the people. I said, to them, I said to them, what are the people at work give away spoilers? And worst of all, they say I don't give a crap. What the hell? They don't understand how much I hate spoilers with a passion. I was pissed off. And honestly, guys, I'm I'm actually scared, guys. I'm really scared. I'm scared they won't let me go see Spider-Man 4. I'm scared they won't let me go see Spider-Man 3. I'm scared they won't let me go see um see, see those films if they say it to me to my face again. It's just really breaks my heart coming to me as a huge animation fan since childhood. And if they said to me these films, or if they ever tell me I can't go see Moana 2 because I'm too old for it, if they, Moana 2, if they told me that I can't go see this movie 4 because I'm too old for it, thankfully they understand the pizza's number way, just thank goodness they understand now, thank God, yesterday. If they told me that, or even worse, if they say I'm too old for Slides or 3, I'm going to say it, I'm going to do this, guys. I will be taking a high haters from cinema for, for seven months. That's right. If it happens again, I will be taking a huge high haters for cinema for seven months. If they do it to me again. Because the cinema vlogs, I don't want it to end. I want it to continue, guys. And I would imagine, you know, like, what's next? They're going to, um, um, well, they didn't know, they didn't know, they didn't know I got Bluey DVDs, so, like, like I'm scared. Like, what if they know I'm going to Blu-ray? What if they told me I'm too old for Blu-ray? But it's what wages, and so adults love Blu-ray. And if they did to me, I'll, I'm, I'm actually, I actually hide my Blu-ray DVDs. You know, guys, that's right. I actually hide my Blu-ray DVDs in my wardrobe in case um, I don't want my family to find out I'm, I'm, I'm going to Blu-ray because I, I don't want because I, I don't want to embarrass them. I just hide it in my wardrobe. So. So that's some I, I done recently, guys. And thankfully, they don't know I'm into Blu-ray. So thank God. But when I get my own place, I won't get my own place just yet, guys. I won't get my own home yet because they're too expensive as hell. If I get my own place, guys, I will fishy put Blu-rays on my DVD shelf. So right now, I have to hide them until further notice, guys. So, but thankfully, I have great YouTubers to support me, like. Andre on 100, my boss fanboy, the host of Credit Jeremy, they and Gwen the Cat, they really support my channel, and they just give me, and especially Jeremy, he's a great YouTube friend of mine. He really support me on my videos, and um, and he, he helped me a lot with my with my opening videos, opening and closing logos to get to keep my channel going, and he helped me with the thumbnails and all that stuff. And I just finished filming, um, I just finished recording. Um, Just 
I just finished recording um, the uh, No Time to Spy a Lighthouse movie with you. So I just finished with you that. I have. I need to review Big City Green's movie review on maybe Friday. Maybe Friday, guys. So, so thankfully my parents understand is that Pixar's for all ages. So there's something, guys. But I'm 40. I'm they still. I still can't go see inside. Too. I'm not gonna sneak to the sea of Cinema World after work. I'm not doing that now because I'm actually freaking scared. I might get into trouble because I, I want to stay out of trouble. And so, I mean, that news was so bad. It made me want to. It made me want to put this. It made me want to put. It made me wish for Pixar films to release on Disney Plus instead of Cinema Back. Yeah, I can't believe I actually sit on camera. It, I mean, I, I was so upset. I can't see inside two in cinemas. It made me wish for Pixar to release them on Disney Plus instead of cinemas back. I can't believe I just said it on camera. I surprised. I'm shocked myself. I can't believe I said it on camera. And speaking of cinema, the, um, the couple of films are getting re-released recently, guys. Uh, the original Spider-Man trilogy and main Spider-Man movies and. And um, the Tom Holland Spider-Man are getting re-released now. I'm not going to bother see the re-release of those films because I'm not a huge fan of seeing films re-released in cinemas. I'm sorry, but I never was a big fan of seeing re-released movies in cinemas because the reason why it's, I just think it's a waste of money, and I can watch it for free at home on Sky Movies or DVDs and stream service, like um, and even South Park Big and Long and Cut is getting a re-release in July in my country and no I'm not gonna see that in cinemas because I've already seen the movie before that years that years ago back in 2014 on Put Locker and um and um along the same year I got I, I got into the show I was 15 years old when I first watched the series and I first watched the film back in May 2014, so I was 16 years old when I first watched the film. I just think it's a waste of money to see it on the big screen. Like, I know it did, I'm aware it did very well with the box office when it first came out. It was the highest grossing R rated animated comedy of all time until, until Sausage Party beat at the box office, which I know a lot of people hate Sausage Party because they say, oh, it's inappropriate and all that stuff, and um, they're saying, uh, it's not even the party, it's all that stuff in those stupid go and make grand go and make grand styles bullshit, which I hate those movies with a passion. You guys probably know which I'm talking about, it's just I hate those videos with a passion, guys. But I actually I thought that film was underrated. I thought that film was underrated. I know there are some people out there who hate that film, but come on, there's there's worse movies out there. That film's just, it's better than Adam's Family um, animated 2019 and the second film from 20, 2021. Give credit that. So, so yeah, th th those, those things I mentioned are getting re released, and also Coraline is getting a re release in cinemas very soon. And, um, and no, guys, I'm not going to see a re release of that film in cinemas because. One, I, I don't see re, I don't see films re, re released in cinemas, and two, I've already seen that film. I've already seen it years ago, back in 2010 on Sky Movies. I've watched it on Sky Movies back in 2010. Yeah, and the poster said um, the Walking Back. And has the other mother's hands on the poster and it has that poster and um now i will say that's actually my favorite like a movie and although i can movies my favorite one is uh, probably called mine i guess the reason i'm saying that i haven't seen kubo yet so i can't tell you what my my full my favorite i can't say kubo's my favorite because i haven't seen that film yet but i'll say Coraline's my favorite out of the like like films and yeah, it was a great film. I think it's a great film. Very underrated and 
apparently it's going to, it's going to, it's got, it got a little cult following in the, in the future. It got a cult following years later. Like, I saw some few merchandise at HMV lately, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, I, I got, I remember I got mine on DVD back in 2019. I see, yeah, that's, and many people call it to be the, a lot of people saying it's the, it's the most scariest animated film of all time. Now look, uh, this is gonna shock you guys. <sighs> Cora didn't scare me one bit. Yeah, I'm not joking guys. That film didn't scare me at all when I first watched it at age 11 on Sky Movies. It didn't scare me at all. Yeah, I will admit, the other mother spider was kind of creepy. I got used to it. I just got used to it. I was actually quite brave. I actually watched that film because a lot of people say, "Oh, I won't watch it ever again. It's too scary and that stuff." Yes, it is a kids' movie, after all. I really like the dark tone of that film. That, I feel Conan is pretty dark for a kids' movie. I think it's a definitely a masterpiece. Definitely a very good film. I have reviewed back in. I have reviewed that film back in 2022, I think. I reviewed that film. But yeah, I really like that film. It's a great film, and I think I know why my family chose Monster vs. Aliens over Coraline in cinemas. Yeah, I'm guessing why. They, I think I think I know a good reason why they chose that because if I saw it in cinemas at, at age 11, I doubt. The other mother will probably terrify me. And yes, but like speaking of the other mother, holy shit! The other mother is probably the most scariest animated villain I've ever seen. Probably the most scariest villain I've ever seen in an animated film. Like holy shit, she was terrifying. Well, I'm in a good way, guys, because she didn't really scare me at all. Like, I mean, there's some nice characters. Sounds a nice character, it's not very likable, very nice charming parents. But until then until went until cool eyes just refused to put buttons her eyes, she turned evil and stuff. And yeah. Plot twist right there. Yeah. So yeah, it's gonna be released, so 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 no guys, I'm not I just think re-release. I've seen seen films in re-release is overrated. I I don't like seeing re-release movie cinemas. I think it's seeing films and re-release is kind of overrated. I could just watch it at home free. So, so yeah. So yeah. So anyway, uh, Man Web France is coming hopefully next week along with I'm basically gonna confirm this guys. I'm actually going to say it on camera, guys. It's a film I don't want to rewatch anytime soon, but, but I have no choice to do this, guys. So I'm actually planning to rewatch this film, but and I'm actually going to say this, guys. It's, it just. I'll tell you what it is, guys. After my Madden Web rant will be a redo rant on Sweet Life movie. It's officially confirmed I'm actually doing a redo rant on Sweet Life movie. A movie I don't want to rewatch anytime soon. Coming to me who, coming to me, who liked the series growing up. But after watching that movie, it was heartbreaking. It was so bad that I didn't watch an episode of the original series, even Sweet Life on Deck, ever again. I actually didn't watch an episode ever since because. If I thought High School Movie School was the worst this Channel original movie, honestly, at least that film, yeah, sure, I hate it with a passion. I never liked it as a kid. But at least people don't talk about that film anymore in 2024 onwards. They just move on to bigger and better things. Look at these people, they move on to bigger and better things. Thank you, people. But that rant, um, I'm, it's a film I'm not sure I want to touch on my channel because. A Sweet Life movie, that is the worst Disney Channel original movie I've ever seen in my life. 
So, yeah. So yeah, um, so yes, and Sweet Light Movie is a film I'm pretty scared of rewatch because it's a film I don't want to touch ever again. It's I'm, I'm actually actually going to rewatch it because it's it's not gonna be good to rewatch it anytime soon to rewatch it. But I have no choice to rewatch it off the Madden Web rant. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm actually in my mind, there might be more rants out there, but I have to think about it. I'll keep that other than the community tab. Anyway, guys, I'm only here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like and share your friends, and till next time, goodbye. Chirp.